that's the requirement for being in a flow state is to not be coming from self-consciousness, which includes self-performance. It's a result of self-consciousness. If you're not self-conscious, you can't make it about you. It's impossible. And therefore you can't block it. You can't stifle it. You can't distort it. You can't alter it. You can't lack proper timing because all that comes from trying to get somewhere for yourself, which all is traceable back to self-consciousness. So the question is about uh, discernment versus um, letting God flow, particularly mm. when shepherding or mirroring or in a team setting. First of all, there's I... no verses. It's just to give a very short final answer to this, and then we can go into the details. And the there's nuances. no verses? No, there is... Because the highest discernment is the discernment to see God in all things. And if you see God in all things, aka discern all the time, clearly, then you are being guided and you are in the flow state. You are being guided by God if you're discerning God in all situations. So discernment is not at odds. It's not a mental thing, ultimately, yes, in the beginning, but ultimately discernment is clear seeing. And if you're clearly seeing God, then what guides you, what inspires you, what moves you, what you're living for and through and from is God. So discernment ultimately leads to God's flow state. Nice. Yeah, I guess where I have been getting hung up is I'm realizing now that I have such a... Ego, like my ego wants to perform so well and has taken on this spiritual spiritual person as that's the that's the performing or that's the achieving and so i feel often like i'm editing what what may want to be coming through in order to appear Don't. spiritual or yes and so I, right now i feel like that that's been happening without me even being actively doing that. And I just feel like, fuck, like, I don't know, like I've been sailing and, and now I'm just letting the ropes up and it's like, well, now I don't even know how to fucking sail anymore. Um, nice. Well, that's a good start to becoming a sailor, man. Yes. Yeah. A lot of time wasted. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, part of what has been coming up is, uh, it was reflected to me that I inhibit and sort of edit what wants to be said or maybe hold something that I think is good. And and it gets so subtle that I feel like, oh, even something that I felt really relevant two minutes ago, now I'm just holding it. But it felt so relevant. And, and so, yeah, I, I guess I'm tripping myself up with whether cool. like something two minutes ago needs to come through. Like even this question was like, I've been sitting holding it for 15 minutes and it's like, is that even in the field now? Or is it being personal? Well, there is, you know, there's some appropriateness to not unmuting yourself when there's a queue of people that have questions. When you're in a social setting or you're in a meeting with multiple people and you have an insight that comes up, unless it's really fucking overpoweringly strong and it's gonna change the whole tide of the meeting, then yes, maybe interrupt, but there is a time and place to not interrupt, to hold things for a bit, to filter it a little bit, to edit a little bit, but that shouldn't be the baseline. And even that can be done from a flow state by letting it go and, and letting it continuously refresh itself so that when the time does feel appropriate, you know it and it expresses itself as is most relevant in that particular moment, which may be slightly different 15 minutes from now than it was 15 minutes prior. But if you are continuously able to discern and be in the flow state, then that wouldn't really matter. You wouldn't have to hold it like a concept that you have added it. And then 15 minutes later, you're saying it the way that you've contrived it back then 15 minutes ago. You'd simply have a fresh in the moment version of that same message, most likely when it is your time to speak. So other than the physical limitation of what's appropriate in a group setting or when to speak and how to say things to certain people, other than that, like that sort of aside as a secondary 
primary is that you are not self-conscious. That's the requirement for being in a flow state is to not be coming from self-consciousness, which includes self-performance. That's the result of self-consciousness. If you're not self-conscious, you can't make it about you. It's impossible. And therefore you can't block it. You can't stifle it. You can't distort it. You can't alter it. You can't lack proper timing because all that comes from trying to get somewhere for yourself, which all is traceable back to self-consciousness. So similar to my, um, I think it was in the, in the love topic talk that I gave to Benting Your Life, um, where I used the example of dancing in a room where nobody else is dancing and there's no booze and losing your self-consciousness without becoming hippie, just being grounded and clear, but not self-conscious and just giving expression to what flows. So it's a similar state being in, in a present serious dialogue, maybe with a team, for instance, can you phrase what you need to phrase without self-consciousness or with as little of it as possible? And first of yes. all, what is, yeah. what is nice? What is the self that you are conscious of when you are self-conscious? What is that? When you do feel self-conscious, what are you actually aware of that you would call self? What does the self sense feel like? I don't know that I actively feel like who is it. It feels more like in the moment, it feels like not wanting to mess up the field or like wanting so to. So what is that? Who is this? Who is the self that has that intention? What's that made of? Yeah, I, I don't where, know. I, where the is answer that? is the personal self, but I really can't even. But but where where is the personal self, for instance? Just in my mind. True. Um, yes. And can you give a location to it? No, I mean here, I guess. Nice. So then, can you... Be here without being here? Can you be without being here, without being localized, without being focused around the location of the body? Can you stay can you stay formless and dimensionless, locationless while you're talking? Can you not assume a location? Yes. Can you stay like the sky? Yes. And do you notice you can still talk and you can still know things? In fact, you know things more quickly, more purely. Mm -hmm. So you speak as the sky, you dance as the sky, you express as the sky. Even when you're waiting for your turn to speak, you're waiting as the sky, not as Richard over here in the body. Mm. If you can, if you can reroute your consciousness to sort of a sky like formless space like location free isness if you can plug into that while you're speaking and contributing to a dialogue or asking a question or doing stuff then that saves you from a lot of self-consciousness and it saves you from because as soon as you localize yourself become self-conscious and an intention for this particular locational self interferes with the real message and clarity and what wants to be brought forth now you are a uh, now you are a, a limiting conductor you know there's a resistance in the conductor you're going to distort mm. so learn to speak without self consciousness without lo without location in other words nice yeah so even just the point that like the instant that there is like the field that's already putting myself outside of the field to contribute to rather than just simply being there's no, mm -hmm. there's no anything. It's just speaking. It's just being the field. But even that already is like putting a thing on it, I guess. 
Yeah, it's very good. Be easy going, like this guy. Stay easy. Stay at ease. <laughs>